Hi everyone, it's Jill. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, today is, I can't remember the date. I think day five of 30 days, or 38, 30 days. And today's ink is going to be 2016 Glammy Dark Lilac. But first, before I show off that ink, let's talk about yesterday's ink, which was, and sorry about the shadow, it's late at night here and I'm trying to film and it got dark, it was super hot today, so this is the only time I could film, is Purple Rice, London Two Bar Purple Rice, and here is a picture of the swatch card that I have from, it's the Wearing Gold swatch cards, so that's that. And then, I don't know what I was doing this day when I was journaling, but I had my hands, I dumped water, I don't know. I don't think I had a very great day when I was journaling, but as you can see, from the part that's not in shadow, and I don't know what's causing the shadow here. It's probably the tripod, I, or it's actually my phone. It's my phone. Um, you can see that the ink writes pretty wet, and it's e it's very easy to read, and it's very easy on the eyes. And if you compare it even to yesterday, it's a lot easier to read. Although I have to say, when I have Pennsylvania Fieldstone in a wetter nib, it writes just fine. But I did look, and Narwhal or Navalar nibs are slightly dry. They are more on the dry side than wet, and I typically like wetter nibs, so I might try this later if I have time in a wetter nib like a Twisby, if I have any pens left, too. Um, this was... No problem to write with. The pen wrote fantastic. It was an extra fine. It was, it felt like it was really smooth on the page. I think this is, I know this ink is a Japanese ink, I think. Or no, it's at Hong Kong. Never mind. It's not a Japanese ink. Um, it's from Hong Kong, so. I didn't really know what to expect, but it feels really, really wet in this pen. And so, and this pen just tends to be more average, not too wet, not too dry. So I was really happy with this. And then going on, to, moving on to today's ink. Hold on. Like I said, it is the famous or infamous or however you want to put it. Although it is the 2016 version, the original Lamy Dark Lilac. Because I was into fountain pens back then. I was actually lucky enough to get my hand up, hands on more than one bottle. So I went in this one up runs out I do have more but I also do like the new one so I do have a bottle of that and since that is a standard line and it's not a limited edition and will be stocked I only have one bottle so we'll see how fast I go through that bottle um and that is what it looks like on this watch card. It's kind of, I don't know if you can kind of see a little bit of sheen, but 
a little bit of the gold sheen. I think I kind of see it, but the sheen is definitely not as predominant in the 2016 version. It's, oh, there's the sheen. You can see the gold, like, right there and there. We'll leave the camera and some up in here. But I really like this color. And I really actually like the new one, which will be coming this month as a hint. But for the writing sample, I'm just going to write. And this pen is really a juicy writer. Um, it's a Twisby Eco. And the color is transparent purple. And I had this gr nib custom ground. So it is a fine, whoopsies. I didn't take space that out well. Cursive smooth italic. And I had that. And I had that ground by, I think it's Mark Backus. I don't know. I just know it's nib grinder. I think it's Mark. I'm hoping I got his name right. If not, I'll correct it tomorrow. Um, and the ink is 2016 on me. I really like this nib. It's really nice, juicy wet just like I like it and it even writes really well with the 2016 Lamy Dark Lilac which is more dry than the 2024 and so that's saying a lot for how well he made this pen wet I love it and since I got it, it's had gummy dark lilac in it. I've had to re-ink re re it, but it has constantly had this ink in it. And I'm going to try to turn. I don't know if you can see any of the sheen. I will try to do my, um, my video tomorrow during the day. Day, so hopefully you can see if any sheen is going to show in this. Sometimes it shows, sometimes it doesn't. It just has to be a lot of like pool ink usually. And I just really like the color of the ink, so I don't care if it's if I see the sheen with this one particularly, but. I really, really like this ink. And I really, really like this pen. So I really look forward to writing in my journal and doing the transcription in this, <clears throat> sorry, in this Midori notebook on a cream paper. And I've been trying to do like the this on the cream paper so that you can see it on the Midori paper, on Tomoe River paper, and then when I show these cards on the, I, I don't know what paper Warangu uses, but the paper that they use in their swatch cards. So it's, you're kind of getting a look at three different papers. 
and I love these bottles because the way they're made is that the bottom pops off and so when you're running low on ink this is the part where you put your pen in you don't have to worry about tilting the bottle or anything because this much of the bottle is under the bottom of the glass or the bottom of the bottle the main bottle part so another reason why i like the lamy inks it's sad because a lot of them are kind of dry but their newer ones are less dry like the i was very surprised and because i love purple i of course got by the blackberry and that one was even wider to me just a little bit wider than even the 2024 Lamy Dark Lilac so and then the bottom just pops right back on with the Lamy bottles and this is some dabbing paper for when you put your nib in to dab the nib off so you don't get ink all over your hands when you go to write with the pen but I don't really use this ever, but it's handy to have in case I was out and about and didn't have paper towel. So that's kind of a nice feature that Lamy has. So I really like the shape of these bottles, but that's all, me, all for me tonight. So please hit like and subscribe and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.